Would you like to know how to make your own book trailers? Well, in this video, I will show you what I do using an online app called InVideo. Hi, I'm Monique and welcome to my channel. And if this is your first time here, then please consider subscribing. And to all my new and current subscribers, thank you very much. Today I'm going to show you how I go about making a book trailer using an online app called InVideo. Now I picked this up last year from the AppSumo site. They had, you know, a deal going on, so I got it. And guess what? I love it. Yes, it's geared for making your articles into video, but sometimes I'll go ahead and use it to make a book trailer. The thing that I like about in video is that the pictures, it can pan, zoom, you know, do all the stuff that you would actually have to do with a, you know, a video editor. And I personally, I use Corel, but that's another video. And I mean, I love it. I just told I, it sits, it makes the video and it's ready for me to upload to YouTube. So let's go ahead and get right to it. Here we are at my NVIDIA dashboard. And this is where I'm going to create a book trailer. First I need the script I made from my book blurb. And I'll use it for article to video. As you can see, there are many different templates that you can use depending on what will work for you. For me, I will be using this one. And it does have music already attached to it. Now, my script that I made will go here. I will add the headline and then the rest of it here. You'll notice where it will actually auto-suggest images and videos. I, I have already uploaded mine, so I will uncheck that. Now I will add these. There it goes. Now you want to try and keep this as short as possible because it will tell you if it is too long. And looking at this, I know it's going to say this is too long. It might say this one's too long, but it all depends. So let's look. Now that that's done, we can see this is at 55 seconds right now. And let me check, see if there's anything that, that might be too long. Up, oh, there goes one there. But I'll leave that one in. But like I said, I don't think there's too many. Let's see. And, okay, this one too. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, so now I need to add my pictures. Okay. And it's basically just dragging them over. With this one added, I will go ahead and add 
one more seam for my end screen. You can see this is now 59 seconds. That's still good. So let's look real quick. I haven't added the music yet. It does have its own, but I've already picked one. This looks good, so I'm going to add my music. And let's see how it sounds. Okay, now the flashing is basically the video buffering, but when I download it, it won't be there. There's one thing I want to see if I can change, and it's at the bottom because it does have like this little shadow area. I want to see if I can take that off at the end. It's not a deal breaker, but you know, if I can, uh, I'll take that off. Let's see what it will let me do. Okay, this now looks good. So I'm going to export it. Make sure that I add where I got all my pictures and my music. By the way, I got the music from Audio Hero. Audio Hero I got from AppSumo last year. 3,000 music downloads to use. And I've only used 10. So go figure. I'll be using this for a very long time. Well, let me go ahead export this because this is now done And this is now completed and I will upload this to my YouTube channel as the book trailer for this particular book. Now that book trailer will be out March 13th of this year, a week before the book's release. And that is how I go and make a book trailer using NVIDIA. All the links will be in below in the description box. What did you think of that video? Go ahead, leave your comments below. If you know anybody, it might help. 
send them on over. They will be glad you did. Until next time.